Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 117 of Flea Market's video game hunting. So I found this Donkey Kong game for $7. I decided to pick it up. I have not played a Donkey Kong game. Just, you know, when you guys saw me test out that Wii that one time. But if I were to play a Donkey Kong game, what game do you suggest me starting with? So I think the hardest games that I've played are the Crash games. So let me know what's the easiest Donkey Kong game to start with I just want some suggestions because I it looks fun I'm just I'm scared it'll be really hard for me so anyways I got this for five dollars and there was something wrong with the trigger button which you'll see in the recap portion but uh, yeah the trigger button was kind of messed up and funny thing is I have one for my ps3 i have one controller for two ps3s that i own but there's also a problem with that where the trigger is broken and it's kind of hollow you could still press the button but it feels really uncomfortable with the edges of the plastic just sticking out and this one as well also has a problem with the trigger button it's kind of like the trigger button is melted along with the ps three controller casing so i still decided to pick it up i been kind of lazy because i've had my ps3 controller like that for so long i mean it works so that's why but i need to get some buttons and some casings for these ps3 controllers i picked them up also because ps3 controllers remind me of Wii controllers that they're like tanks so this will probably work i always pick up ps3 controllers and there's never anything wrong with the battery and they always work fine so five dollars a peach each five dollars a piece each for those that's a tongue twister so the next thing that i picked up is kind of like a i wasn't finding much and this is actually two days the donkey kong game i picked up on a separate day but the rest of these i picked up on the same day so this was five dollars i looked at it the reason i picked it up was also because it was rechargeable you didn't have to put batteries in it but i have not even plugged it in same with the ps3 controllers i didn't test any of this stuff out but i'm sure it works fine and the last thing that i picked up which was a dollar and feels really light the casing on it feels not like the original games when you shake the game it doesn't sound like anything's in it so i don't know if this is a chinese knockoff but it is from amazon it was an amazon return this guy never has video games where i picked up the arcade machine they share both booths it's a husband and wife so she usually has better stuff that's where i picked up the gengar figure from so anyways guys let me know if this this is genuine it's probably not so i ended up checking the other boxes and there was nothing in it so a dollar for that game i also haven't tested that out but i will get around to doing that someday but anyways guys without further ado let's get into the pickups Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So here is the question from last week's video or last time's video, depending on when this video goes up. But the question for this week's video is release for the PlayStation, which Namco racing game featured a mini game of Galaxian on the loading screens? Again, release for the PlayStation, which Namco racing game featured a mini game of Galaxian on the loading screens so that is the question for this week's video and i kind of opened my blinds a little more so if you watch the last flea market episode you'll know that i was messing around with the lighting around here i look different yes but uh as you guys can see the light like the overexposure here because i have a light on technically and also because the brightness over here uh it's still messing with the camera but anyways let's start with the i believe this is the first pickup that i got and let me show you here uh that's a little sneak peek i guess but i mean you already saw the me hunting for games portion of the video so you guys know i don't know if i'm right or wrong obviously when i edit the video you'll see in what uh order the video or the pickups go sorry i can't think so i picked this up i've never actually tried to play any of the donkey kong games let me know if there's an easy donkey kong game that i can start with it looks fun like i played the crash games i finished half of two and i almost finished four four and two i think four was more i want to say ragey yes i died more times in four i think than two 
too, but I almost beat it. So here it is. Compare this to Crash. What is harder, this or Crash? So this is the disc. The disc was pretty good. I think there was only like smudges on it, which yeah, that's what it looks like. So, but manual and everything. The next thing that I picked up and here it is. Now I know it still looks dirty, but I did clean it. So they're both messed up. I did pick up two. This is the one that I picked up with the lady that gives me good deals. So it's missing this part here. For this one, it seems like I'm gonna have to buy a new casing, new buttons and everything. But other than that, it's fine. Like it works, this works too, but uh, look at that. And then there's this one. For some reason, this one feels lighter than this one. And they're both, as you guys can see, they're both six axes, but this one says DualShock 3. So is this the better one? And this is not the, this is the older one because this one feels really light compared to this one and this one's also messed up from here i don't know how it got burned like that let's see let me you guys see that all right well you can kind of see it it doesn't want to focus but yeah it's burnt from the side and from the plastic part here on the control also works just fine and yeah so that is the second one i've been needing some because i have a playstation i actually have two but i only have one controller i'm gonna have to i don't know if you guys have extra cases casings for these let me know and maybe we can work something out because i really don't want to spend money to buy casings for those before i show you the last thing i picked up i did pick up this but i haven't tried to charge it because it does have a charge port here as you can see but i haven't tried to charge it to see if it actually works i actually didn't even try and turn it on i think you turn it on like this but since it doesn't have batteries it doesn't work also you could put some headphones in the back if you want to and then this is the up and down button for the volumes i don't know in which order that goes but up and down and then headphone jack and obviously you can recharge it or put batteries in it if you want but i don't like batteries because they always seem to explode in there so that is pretty cool this is smudging from the wipe because i cleaned it so don't mind that so the last and final thing that i picked up for a dollar surprisingly and with a vendor that i don't usually find things with was is this and uh, let me show you here so it says game cartridge card compatible with banjo and kazooie i don't know what that means first time taking it out of the plastic here just so i can show you guys so it looks really nice it feels really light there's no noise like you know normal n64 games when you shake it at all so I don't, I don't think this is legit. I think this is just like a little copy. So it had a little piece of plastic there that I took off. So don't mind the lighting. You guys know that the lighting is kind of weird and the camera picks up weird colors. It doesn't actually look like this. It looks kind of like the normal version on the A here. There's a little, a white mark underneath the logo there. But if it doesn't make noise when you shake it, that means it's not actually real, right? Like I said, the, the, this little casing here feels kind of cheap it doesn't feel smooth it feels more like a matty type not really matte but it doesn't feel glossy or smooth like the casing from the originals here's the bottom so you guys can see if you guys can see properly it was a dollar and here's the back i don't know if i showed you the back the little screws themselves look brand new it says new but there's no box so i don't actually know i mean i know that if okay look at the logo there too that looks a little off doesn't it i know that if i open this i can see because you guys told me one time when i got some i believe it was like street fighter games for the snes you guys told me to open it and if the little circuit board said nintendo then it was legit but this the no noise when you shake it screams that it's not a original and then the little this just it feels like it was it just feels like it was made i don't know so a dollar it's a dollar but it does say made in china so i mean and the fact that it says game cartridge card compatible with banjo and kazooie is just like off to me so anyways i found this for a dollar i thought this was the best pickup obviously i haven't tested it although i do have a n64 right there i was just too lazy to but yeah there it is let me know what your favorite item was hopefully you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter instagram facebook twitch or discord the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you
in my next video.